Hi there and welcome to this tutorial for JM Concilium. Um, what I'm going to show you here is how you can take control of the scrolling animation. Now what I mean by the scrolling animation is, is if you scroll down the page of this template you'll see each module animating as we, as we, as we get down the page. So you can see there the modules just slowly animating as, as we go down the page just to give it a nice loading effect as, as the user is scrolling down the page. So again if I just refresh the page and I'll just show you that again quickly is we can take full control of, of the type of animation that we have there. So if I scroll down there you'll see that coming, you'll see the, the iPad slide in the next one we get there that the clients area came in so again just taking control of this animation so the way that we can do this is if I go into the back end of the template and I go to the extensions and then the template manager and then we've got the, the different templates that we've set up for you here but the one that we want to concentrate on is the, the default one because this is the default home page and then we get the helix um, control panel so we can take control of these um, animations. So the tab that we need for this part of the website is the layout tab. So we click on layout there, and then here you can see all the different areas of the website and the different module positions. Now the, the, the position that I want to take control of, if I, if I just show you this here, is I want to take control of this, this, this image here in, on the right hand side. Now I know that this module position is called the FP News one hyphen image. So I know that if I want to control this animation, I need to edit the settings for this module position here. So if, if, if I just click on the, the little um, settings icon here within the module, you'll see here that we under the custom class, we have animation and then the, the actual type of animation fade in right. Now, if I want to change that, the, w the way that we've set all this up for you guys is that we've just, um, used these settings from a guy called Dan, Daniel Eden who set up this website with all these um, default CSS uh, animation styles that we can use on our templates. So if, if you want to see one of these animations and you want to choose one, if you just hover over, the, if you click the button, you'll see the actual animation up here with the button. So you can click all the different ones and you can see which way the animation is going to work. So if, if I choose the one that we've currently got on, on the Concilium website, so it's fading right, you'll see there that that is the animation we have on there. So to show you the difference in the animations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see which one I want to use here. So we might use, I think we'll use the bounce up one. Bounce, so it's bounce in up. So what we do is we go to the back end of the website and we, in the custom class, we need to keep the word animation and then the space, but then we just need to change the fade in right. So if we delete that there and then just jump back over to the to the website with Daniel Eden. And this, this website is in the, the, the domain for this uh, website is in our uh, documentation. So you can always get to this site if you need it. So all we need to do is just highlight that text and then copy and paste that into our custom class here. So if I paste that into there now and click the apply button, and then go up here and click the save button so we've saved those settings within the helix framework and then if we go back to the front end of the website and just wait for our, our admin panel to uh, save itself there so if, if we refresh the home page just waiting for the internet here so we've got our home page reloaded now if you keep an eye on this area of the website as, as, as the browser window as I'm, I'm scrolling down the page you'll see the iPad bounce in and up. Did you see that there? It just bounced in and it bounced up. So if I just I'll refresh that page again and then we'll scroll down again and show you. So you, see, you saw the iPad jump in there. So just as another test, we'll change that again. So we go to the layout tab, we go to the FP News 1 image. We want to change that there. So at the moment it's, it's bounced in up. So again, if I go over to the uh, Daniel Eden's website, let's just test a few of these here we we'll choose which one I want to choose so they're fade out we actually want the enter uh, the entry um, animations so fade in up big so we'll try that a similar one isn't it so we'll do that one fade in down big so we'll, we'll copy that text from there go to the back end of the website replace that there just make sure it's correct there yeah click the apply button click the save button if we go back to the front end of the website and just wait for that to save and then if we go to the front end and just refresh the page and then once our home page is refreshed again if you keep your eye on this area of the browser window if I scroll down 
you see the iPad animating from the top there. So not ideal for this template, but it's just it's just an example to show you how that works. So once again, another good feature within the Joomla Man templates uh, that gives you full control of how to create the animation scroll for each individual module or item within the website. So hope you enjoy this template. And if you've got any questions or need any support, please contact us uh, in the support forum or with our support tickets. Um, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much.